few of you started works you might have come across these annoying warnings uh, available system memory is low close some applications to free resources uh, so I'm getting these a lot and actually I didn't kind of know you know why I'm getting these because usually the application does not use that much memory uh, but I came across this article which kind of uh, talks about the solution uh, and this was explained in this particular video but this video actually does not have any voice so I'll just explain what has been explained in this video uh, and I've not tried this uh, myself yet so uh, I'm just you know explaining it uh, viewing the comments in this video because uh, most of the comments basically says that the, their problem is resolved. Uh, I'm not 100% sure uh, if this method would work uh, and um, it talks about GDI objects and you know the limit uh, Windows has a maximum limit on that um, but I did kind of look into the task manager and it wasn't really crossing that limit so I'm not sure how that actually resolved the issue but I'm just going to try that for myself as well and uh, hopefully that will resolve uh, the issues. So this is, you know, uh, just a warning, um, do it on your own risk uh, if uh, it involves modifying registry. Uh, so um, uh, that can actually corrupt your system. So um, uh, be aware, just be aware of that. Okay, so the first thing basically that uh, this article talks about the reason why uh, you are getting this warning. It basically says that uh, the system memory, if you look at the uh, if you look at the task manager uh, right here, and if you look at the performance and memory, um, so um, you know, let's actually go here. Uh, it did, you know, at this point the memory is still kind of uses 97%, but if you look at the SolidWorks. Uh, it's only using 1.5% of the memory, so it's, so SolidWorks is not really the issue here. Uh, Google Chrome is, which is really, you know, it just uses a lot of memory. Uh, and I'm not getting any warnings from any of other application. The warning is only from SolidWorks. Um, as you can see here as well, the resource monitoring. Uh, let me actually, if I can bring it up. Um, Now the usage is 100%, okay. So uh, really the problem is uh, SolidWorks. So uh, this particular um, article talks about, you know, uh, setting, um, increasing the limit on the GDI objects. And it talks about that, come, the first thing it talks about, that go to the details tab. My system is slow, sorry. Uh, and then uh, select uh, columns. Uh, in here, select GDI objects, which I've already done. So I'll cancel that. And in here, you can see my GDI objects. Uh, so I've sorted this in descending order, and you can see that the SolidWorks is the second um, item that uses the most number of GDI objects, which is you know 1,735, which isn't above the limit of 10,000 though, uh, which uh, uh, we're going to change in the uh, in the registry. Uh, so let's go to that. And uh, so this article basically says to modify uh, the limit for the GDI object. So you want to just copy this whole thing over here. Copy it. Uh, come here into Notepad. Uh, and I'm going to show you why we want to copy it in the notepad because when you do it's going to copy in two lines and uh, we want to remove it to the second line and, and also we don't want the last part of the link which is basically the key so we only want to copy this particular um, part of the string uh, come here go to reg edit Yes, in here I've already actually uh, did that, but let's say you have not done anything before. 
So you would, let's say, come in here, uh, in here, let's say, so just copy the link over here. Uh, and now you can see here the key, which is uh, GDI process handle quota. And here, you know, it says the value is 2710, which is equal to 10,000 um, in decimal. And this is the hexadecimal value, so let's change that. And you can see that in de decimal, this is uh, 10,000. So we're going to change that to 16,384. Let's do that, and let's remove the column, the comma, and select OK. Uh, so now you can see that the hex value has changed to 4. Uh, 4,000 and the decimal value is 16,384. Uh, so we're going to close this and I'm assuming I'm going to restart my system now, but that should uh, technically fix the problem. I don't know how, um, but this is how you actually, you know, resolve that issue. So I'm going to just restart my system and see if that resolves the issue. Uh, if yes, please, uh, you know, uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.